Hi Taurus and welcome to your general weekly tarot forecast as well as your weekly love tarot forecast. This is for the week of July 9th through July 15th, 2018. Um, I'm actually going to be doing two readings in this video. The general reading first for general energies for everything but love and then a second reading focused solely on um, love energies. So I'm doing it this way this week because I have a time constraint on when I can record and I wanted to make sure that I get them both out so I know if I put them all in one video I will make sure you guys get to both. And if this works well um, and is not too much for me um, I'll try to keep this format going forward. So I will start with the general. If you're not interested in the general reading, you can click on the timestamp for just the, the love information. So Taurus, let's see where you're um, primarily focused this week. Where is the majority of your energy headed? What area of your life is the biggest highlight? The main event this week we have the sixth house so uh, this could be a few things actually you could just be working really really hard at your job um, you could just be very consumed with day-to-day -day details just like a lot of different things to, to get done um, to handle to get accomplished this week others of you could really be trying to achieve something achieve a goal um, get a certain project completed by a certain day this week. Some of you could be very focused on your health, um, improving your health, or maybe you have a series of doctor appointments, things like that, or maybe you're considering starting yoga or a new diet, you know, something along those lines. So this is six house encompasses a lot of different energies. Okay, so um, let's pull. another card to um, get more information about that sixth house like why is that Taurus's primary focus all right it's your choice <laughs> or maybe it's not your choice um, <laughs> that's pretty funny um, listen some of you are maybe trying to improve your time management um, your physical energy level maybe you're just trying to bring much more organization and balance to your life and your work schedule family schedule social schedule um, it's just like big time balance for Taurus um, some of you again this is like where we're really deciding to turn over a new leaf about our health and really put our 100% our heart and soul into um, improving ourselves in that area. Um, maybe some of you have been working hard at that and this week you might be tempted to fall off the wagon. Don't do it. You've worked way too hard. Keep at it. Keep at it. Okay, so let's pull some tarot. We have the Empress, like she has come out in almost every reading in that position. All right, we have the Tower, and oh wow, we have the Queen of Pentacles in herself, like nope, I can't help nobody no more. Now we have the Nine of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Will of Fortune, Taurus. <laughs> okay, so... What I see here is, um, I feel like Taurus is, and I think I saw this in your um, either Eclipse season reading or maybe it was like your last week's reading. I don't know, but this is like Taurus. Some of you are deciding to say to the hell with it. Um, certain friends, maybe a relationship, co-workers, you know, some of you are saying to hell with it. Um, for all the people that really suck you dry, that take your energy, that take advantage of you, that leave you feeling like there's nothing left for you to give to yourself, okay? Um, it's like you are seeing the truth of those in your life who just take and offer very little gratitude or respect, if any at all, to you and your contributions, okay? And um, with the tower and this Five of Swords, it's almost like 
somebody in their pettiness, their sharp tongue could really just shock the hell out of Taurus this week. And you're like, no, you did not just say that to me. Or no, you didn't do that. Like, or I'm so tired of you not appreciating me. Like some of you, it could be like the smallest little disagreement or thing. Just bam, sets Taurus off. And it's like the tower comes down. You see um, the light at the end of the tunnel. And you're like, you know what? For the preservation of myself... I'm cutting you off because we have the choice here. So there's a, a, something happening in Taurus life this week where I feel is bringing you into a full awareness about a person or situation. Um, definitely could be in the workplace that just is a bit shocking. And, you know, maybe you might feel that you will prevail like you could really screw somebody over for you know what they did to you or something like that but honestly Taurus with um, the Queen being in this position this is inner self and then we have the Wheel of Fortune in this position you are better served to just like cut people off who you know have been taking advantage of you who are not giving back to you to the same capacity that you've been you know giving to them if you've really been making efforts um, with certain friends with certain co-workers with certain situations and it's just like you're spinning your wheels spinning your wheels spinning your wheels you're really coming into the understanding this week that there's there's nothing there's going to be no change there there's no longevity to that situation you've already received the harvest of whatever that relationship or situation was and you're now really like coming into that understanding of it and you might shock you and now i feel like some of you might have a hard time making the choice to abandon the job the friend um, the situation where all this like heavy energy is playing out like but you have a choice here Taurus it's like do you continue to participate or do you turn your back and move on and the choice is truly yours but the universe is saying if you turn your back and move on you're better served and that will restore balance to your energy um, your health allow you time for yourself and all the things you've been putting off for this person or situation. Um, it's just also be prepared that it, there could be some shocking news um, that comes out during an argument or a disagreement of some kind or somebody could tell you, hey, such and such was saying this about you, Taurus. And again, it's instead of confronting somebody um, it's better for you just to turn your back on them. Like, seriously, um, turn your back on them. If somebody's not appreciating you, turn your back on them. If somebody's gossiping about you, turn your back on them. Um, with the Tower and the Five of Swords, there may be somebody, Taurus, that you really thought had your back. You really thought was on your side. And this week brings about the truth. And... Um, Listen, if they did you dirty, I don't care how important they are to you. I don't care who they are. You need to turn your back on them. Because if you're not firm and this is not acceptable, then they very well may um, think they could do it again. And for some of you, perhaps this is that situation where, you know... Um, you somebody showed you who they were but you gave them another chance right and now here you know that chance is burning you again um, and this is not romance remember this is general so this is like a friend this is a co-worker um, this could be a family member this could be somebody you go to the gym with like you know it could be anybody um, it's just like there's no there's either going to be no second chances or you're not you're gonna be like nope there's no third chance here like shh, I'm done I just feel like Taurus is turning their back and that's what that's your best choice okay like whatever the drama and trauma is um, disconnect yourself from it some of you with this sixth house energy um, it's not so much like one specific person 
maybe you feel like your energy is drained. Um, like your health could be better. Your life could be happier and more uh, free flowing if you didn't have so many like um, dramatic friends or you, you there's just like a lot of nervous energy here so that could be attached to several people right and they're your friends and or your family or your co-workers whatever and you've just been like you know maintaining the relationship because of that um, you know it's time to turn your back you only have so much energy you can only do so much Taurus and if you find out that somebody screwed you over or somebody that you thought was a trustworthy good person is really screwing somebody else over it's time to turn your back on that person okay I just feel like there's a truth coming to light this week for Taurus um, what that is is going to be different for all of you which puts you in this place of a choice of what do I do and I feel like your best choice is to turn your back on anybody and anything that has lied to you um, that's petty that's drama that doesn't respect or honor or appreciate or give back to you um, it's just like big time truth coming out this week for Taurus which puts you in that place of choice what do you do? So let's pull an overall outcome and advice card for Taurus. All right, we have Gaia. Yeah, um, wisdom, knowledge, spiritual understanding. Yes, um, beautifully paired here with uh, the Queen of Pentacles and the Empress. Um, Taurus, yep. Listen to the, your spirit. Listen to your life experience and knowledge, okay? Walk away from whoever um, is not honoring you, friend, family, coworker, or if it's a job or situation, it's time for Taurus to make the choice to do the things for the betterment of Taurus, not for the betterment of everybody else and what everybody else needs this week, Taurus, you need to think about the betterment of you and make the choices to facilitate that, okay? So those are your general messages. Um, definitely could be some shocking stuff coming out. The way it impacts you will be different for each and every one of you. If it's just a bunch of gossip about somebody um, and there's actually no impact whatsoever in your life, you may be best served to completely ignore the gossip and not get caught up in it, Taurus. Like, that's what brings you victory and fortune is just to stay out of it. So if, you know, there's everybody in the workplace is gossiping about a certain um, situation or person, you are so better served to just stay out of it. Um, and the will of fortune will be on your side, okay? So I'm going to move in to your love messages for the week. And remember that uh, what we just looked at is not about your love and romance energy. Okay, so Taurus, overall energy for the week. Love and romance. All right, well, gosh darn. <laughs> Honesty is essential, so maybe the general is playing into the love. We'll see what comes out. So we have honesty is essential. To be a loving person, it is important that we speak truthfully and in a loving manner. So Taurus, this goes two ways. One, if you know somebody is lying to you and is being BS and all these things, it's important that you call them out on it, but do it in a way that's not like, you lousy piece of bleep, you know, you no good for nothing, I should have known, like, no, it's better to be like, listen, I know the truth, and I cannot tolerate that. Also, um, with honesty is essential, there could be some truths coming out this week in regards to love and romance. It, this could be where somebody's confessing a crush on Taurus, you know, or it could be something else. So um, let's pull some more cards before I comment too much on that. See what comes out.
All right. Oh my gosh. So there's a mask there. There's a mask here. Deception. Somebody's holding back. Um, forgiving and learning. Um, okay. Yeah. So Taurus, either you're holding back like how you truly feel about something or something that you know happened for whatever reason, like you're holding it back and you're not speaking that you know something that you know in regards to love and romance, whether you're in a committed relationship, just dating somebody, or this is about your um, somebody from your past. It's like something isn't being said, something's um, being held back. And, um, you know, if there's any sort of dishonesty or deception um, coming out this week, for you guys in the love area, um, you really need to say how you truly feel about it. Don't hold back. Like, don't. For any reason. Like, I'm scared they'll leave me, or I'm scared, um, you know, whatever. No. You speak your truth on how that really makes you feel, because that's the only way you can heal and move forward. Um, some of you, whatever this dishonesty is, is something that happened um, leading up to this week. And now um, we're in the place of making amends and apologizing. Um, if something really hurts you, though, Taurus, don't lie to yourself and say that it didn't because you don't want it to. It's You've got to be honest with yourself and say, yes, that really did hurt me. And I feel it, and I still feel it strongly, even though I don't think I should, because that's when the forgiving um, and learning can take place. That's when we can start releasing whatever that deception was in the past that really hurt us, that we are trying to deny ourselves we feel anything about, okay? So we have the world, yes. It is very much time to leave deception in the past um, before it, let's just, so we have the Six of Swords. And we have the Emperor. I don't know. This to me is like, for some of you, this could be where there was like some infidelity or somebody was like dating multiple people but not being honest about all that. Especially like maybe if you were dealing with an Aries. But this is like the past, okay? Um, and... We haven't gotten over that, whether you're still with this person or you don't even speak to this person. Whatever happened in the past, like, you have not gotten over that yet. It's still hanging around inside of you. And this week is bringing uh, the completion to that. You see the world card there? It's time to let the past go so that you can move forward. All right, so we have um, the Death card. We have the um, King of Swords. And we have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, so listen, Taurus, two things. Ah. Let's just see if this will work this time. Here, we'll move these over just a hair. No, there I caught you. Okay, so Taurus, um, if you are dealing with an air sign that lied or cheated in the past, they very well um, may this week be saying, I really want a second chance with you. Please forgive me. I'll do whatever it takes. Um, but because we have the King of Swords in this position, there is still something being hidden. There is still something that is not being brought to the light, okay? Even though it's being offered, I'll do whatever it takes to have a second chance with you. Um, this could be where you're in the relationship still, right? And you've just been kind of disconnected, you know? trying to work through these emotions and here they are saying Taurus I really do want this to work out but it's like there's something that is not being said there's something that's not being shared like I definitely believe anybody who is um, 
asking Taurus for a second chance romantically this week is a hundred percent on the fact in the moment they're asking that they're doing they're willing to do whatever it takes. I believe that. However, um, there may be more to the story of the past than you know about. Okay. Um, and I would suggest that you tell them, listen, you need to be 100% straight up and honest with me about everything right now or there is no second chance because it will eventually come to light. It will. Okay. It very much will. And Taurus, since this is a general reading, if there is anything that you have been hiding or keeping secret, um, whether it's just your true feelings about something or you actually did something like cheat or whatever, if you're hiding that, um, again, like you can't have a, a second chance or a real chance with somebody while that's still a part of you. Like you need to speak your truth even if you're afraid, okay? Even if you're like, hey, here's the truth you want to be with me like you need to be all in and you've got to be willing to give a hundred percent like me or I can't be with you like some people that's really hard to say when you really care about somebody and you're not sure if they're gonna to decide to be in it with you or if they're just gonna bounce on out and say nope sorry I can't offer you that right um so Taurus be very honest in how you feel okay and what you need and expect from another person um if deceptions that have happened in the past um, are just really painful to you and you try to pretend like they don't exist to keep the peace to keep the relationship balanced this week it's just going to come out it's time for you to express your heart and your soul so that you can let go so that you can forgive so that you can have a second chance to move forward okay and what that second chance means is different for everybody right some of you this is like a second chance at you know um repairing a relationship that you're already in some of you this is a second chance of somebody straight up trying to resurface back in your life all right but Taurus either you or this other person are not being totally honest and I saw that in the general reading and now it's playing out in your love reading so there is dishonesty um, playing out somehow some way and it's either you doing it or it's who you're dealing with is doing it or this is something from the past that you're still carrying around with you and it's time to let it go it's like you are never going to get anywhere um, romantically while we carry this storm inside of us of what hurt us in the past okay this week is all about release forgiveness letting go speaking our truth so let's pull a card for overall outcome and advice for Taurus Okay, so this is good. Listen, Taurus, by being honest and demanding honesty, clearing away obstacles, protection, guidance. So if you are sensing that somebody is not being real with you, that they're holding something back, and it doesn't have to be something malicious. Like sometimes people are just holding back their true feelings for whatever reason, right? Um, if you feel like somebody's holding back and, and having a mask on and not being straight up, straightforward, you're right, okay? There is something that is still beneath the surface. However, if they are saying, Taurus, I want to make this work. I want a second chance with you. I'm in it for the long haul. They are being honest with you. That is the truth. However, there is something beneath the surface, either beneath their surface or or beneath your surface where we're hiding something here either our true feelings or the whole truth about what really happened okay differ for everybody but with this it's like trust your instincts and don't let up until you are like until they say okay this is this is what I'm thinking this is what I'm feeling this is what really happened okay um, don't let up 
Be like, no, if you want a second chance with me, we've got to completely clear the air. I've got to know everything. I don't want something coming back to me, you know, um, two months from now when we're back in good together and something you did, you know, five months ago, I don't want that coming back to me then when we're good and it hurts me all over again, even though it doesn't matter anymore because we've moved beyond it at this point. But do you see what I'm saying? Like sometimes... Um, when you know there was infidelities or things like that and a relationship breaks up and then the peop the two people come back together um and they're real with each other there's healing and they're honest you know all of that's going on sometimes if the guilty party or sometimes both people are guilty right don't say everything that happened um when that stuff comes out to light later down the road it's painful and it shouldn't be because we're already moving past this energy we're forgiven all of this but because there's this one detail that was left out all of a sudden now it's a fresh brand new wound were you ever being truthful this whole time anyways and it's a mess right when it it truly doesn't have to be so Taurus be honest as you can be this week and demand it in return and that is like the key to your success whether you're single dating coupled whatever your situation is um it's like things coming to light this week and um second chances and forgiving and learning but only if everybody is totally honest okay so those are your messages for this week taurus i'm wishing you all the very best take care